Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your spirit messages for April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Sagittarius, I brought, I'm bringing back the spirit messages. If you're familiar with my channel, I did do them uh, the end of last year into the beginning of the year. Then I stopped them for a while. I did have a poll on my community section where you could vote for what kind of readings you would like to see. And this was part of uh, a group of readings that um, was voted for most. So I'm bringing them back. So leave me some feedback below how you like them and I'll continue to do them um, and see how it goes. So welcome, Have hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's staying safe during this time. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female, and this could be past, present, or future energy. Uh, but it is messages, advice, guidance, or it could be confirmational messages, however uh, it means for you. So we'll take it as it comes. Take, you know, like I said, only things that resonate for you. And uh, we'll see what we get here for you, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. So if you did participate, participate, if I can speak into, in, it's been a long, long two weeks. I've had so much overtime, uh, my daytime job. Anyway, if you did participate in the polls, thank you. So everything you need to know uh, is in the description box below, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, your playlists are below, as well as um, how to tip, donate, send, send a gift. And also, if you're not comfortable using PayPal for a donation, um, Super Chat is open during the premiere only, if you choose to do so that way. And if you do, thank you. All right, so Sagittarius. And a lot of that information <clears throat> is also in the pinned top comments. All right, Sagittarius. What are the spirit messages? What do you need to know at this time? For Sagittarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. I'm going to pull three messages from each oracle deck and then we'll clarify with like one tarot for each and then at the end i have these uh prayer cards that i actually purchased them at the uh, dollar tree and there were two separate decks i decided to combine them together you could call them prayer cards affirmation cards i'll pull one at the end for you as a little extra uh affirmation prayer all right sagittarius we have seeking and finding so seeking and finding something, are we? And we have decisions, so needing to make some choices, decisions here. And we have changing your mind. I just got this for um, Aquarius. So there may be some decisions you need to make, but you keep changing your mind for some reason. Whatever you are seeking, and I believe this reads in the book that whatever you're seeking is seeking you also, but whatever you you shall she, seek, you shall find, but you won't know unless you seek it. If you inquire or you ask or whatever here, or you look into something here, um, you're not gonna get the answers you seek unless you actually seek them out. Then you will find your answers. Could be about decisions here, but for some reason you keep changing your mind. So however that resonates for you, could be about anything could be about anything so however that resonates for you or this could be telling you um, maybe there's something that you need to look into just a little bit deeper you may find something that you didn't see before you may have some decisions coming your way that you'll have to make some decisions about here and you may you may change your mind or maybe it's telling you if you make a decision don't be afraid to change your mind so however that resonates for you all right, so let's get some of these for you, Sagittarius. Let's get some of these for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius. I don't know if I mentioned this could be, uh, you could be male or female watching this, doesn't matter. These readings are for everybody. Even though uh, I think 80% 80, 80 of my viewers are female. And I'm getting more male clients, which kind of um, surprises me. But hey, I think that's a good thing. All right. So seeking and finding. So let's see what we have here. We have wise soul, Azalea. Your soul car uh, carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it. 
as you have the knowledge to help those around you. Some, some of you may have um, some gifts you're not aware of, maybe intuitive, um, you may connect to source also, or you're just a very wise soul that has a lot of uh, wisdom, advice, guidance to give to other people. And this is telling you to share your knowledge. Or you may need to seek someone out who is a wise soul. Because, oh, and I just said seek, <laughs> seeking and finding. So maybe you need to some find someone who is a wise soul, give you the information, the guidance that you're, you're seeking, maybe to help you make decisions here. And this changing your mind, I mean, that could be anything. Um, don't be afraid to change your mind. If you made a decision and want to change your mind, or this telling you that maybe whatever decision you made, you may want to reconsider because maybe you should change your mind. Or maybe some of you need to just stop changing your mind. So, I mean, however it resonates for you here. But we're going to clarify with the tarot. So now we have balance, work, rest, and play. Yellow rose. It's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. And it's funny there, the first word is balance. Because in the tarot... Um, Sagittarius, you represent the temperance card, which is all about balance. So that's kind of fitting there. So saying here, uh, I know we're all kind of isolated right now, but uh, some way you can balance out your energies. Make sure you're getting enough rest. You know, if you still have to work, if you're an essential worker, like I am, uh, work, rest, and don't forget to have some fun also. Any way you can, maybe doing some hobbies that you haven't done in a long time or something like that if you're spending a lot of time at home. And we have here trust, carnation. You could trust the people around you. They are earth angels sent to give you the guidance you seek. I do you see this? I cannot make this up, Sag. The guidance you seek, seeking and finding, and that you could trust. Wow. This is telling you to trust those around you. Maybe some of you have trust issues in some way, shape, or form. People around you, you're not sure if you can trust them. Maybe, you know, you change your mind like, oh, I think I could trust them. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. You know, like make a decision here, you know, <laughs> kind of energy. So let's see here. All right. I almost feel like I'm giving a little bit of tough love here, Sag. Maybe some of you need that. All right, so let's get, it's all in coming from a good place, so keep that in mind. All right, so Sagittarius, let's get some of these for you, Sagittarius. And I'm getting yellow, you know, yellow is all about friendship. So maybe, you know, if you're, Spending a lot of time, you know, you still can pick up the phone and talk to your friends or whatever here, catch up or reach out in some way, shape or form. All right, so let's get three of these for you, Sagittarius. Three of these for you, Sagittarius, please. Spirit, what does Sagittarius, okay, I'm getting these two. And let's get one more for Sagittarius. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we have here. So we have rainbow blessings. So blessings are coming in for you. Good luck, fate, destiny, blessings, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Blessings coming in through some sort of storm clouds here. You see the blue sky peeking through there, making this rainbow. So whatever you've been through, it's been a little turbulent or, you know, dark and gloomy, if that makes sense, that there are blessings coming in. Good luck. And uh, the clouds parting and the sun coming out. And we have spring equinox here, rebirth. So something in the spring here, we are in spring right now. So something could, uh, you know, rejuvenating, uh, recuperating, transforming, like rebirthing a whole new you, maybe healing and like starting over, starting fresh. Birth of new things. The spring season, I feel like, bring a lot of blessings for you in some way, shape, or form. But we have stone people here, so vigilance. So this is telling you to stay vigilant, 
to stay strong, um, sturdy and grounded, and stand tall, and keep going and moving forward, and not to give up is kind of what I'm getting. All right, so let's clarify these energies. I'm kind of feeling um, different messages here. Sometimes they all combine into like one big message, and sometimes they're all little mini messages. So again, take whatever messages um, resonate for you. All right, so let's clarify this energy here for you, Sagittarius. I do have Sagittarius, especially if you're new. Welcome to check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I do about five readings per sign per month. Uh, love, singles, general, spirit messages, and a bonus reading where we take a little look, little extra look at everything. So if you're interested in that, and I may also be starting to do extended readings on Vimeo, uh, probably not for a couple more months as soon as this pandemic right now kind of settles down. Uh, so I'm not sure when that will be, given my time. So what do we have here? We have the Eight of Cups. So that could be an energy of walking away from things no longer serving you, but then walking to something more for fulfilling. So you could be, you know, seeking and finding, uh, trying to find something here more fulfilling for you. So if you're leaving behind or walking away from things no longer serving you in search of something more fulfilling, I feel like whatever you're seeking here, you will find. If you look in the right places, reach out in the right places, uh, communicate in the right places, um, I feel like you will find what you are looking for, Sag. So what are these decisions about for you, Sagittarius? Sagittarius, what are these decisions about for Sagittarius here, please? Thank you so much. The moon energy, high priestess. So the moon can be about cycles and changes. It can be about intuition, deep feelings. It can be about fear, not seeing the path clearly or being a little disillusioned. So it's a lot of different meanings here. So maybe you're feeling a little confused, disillusioned, or have fear of making some sort of decision or, you know, one decision, two decisions, whatever it is here for you. But, you know, listen to, actually, it's the high priestess. I'm sorry. It's the moon energy, but it's the high priestess. So it is actually, I'm sorry, the high priestess, not the moon. But again, it's about listening to your gut and your intuition and your higher knowing about whatever decisions you need to make or want to make or feel like you should make. Just, you know, don't overthink it because if you don't, the first thing you should always, always listen to is your gut and your intuition. But then the mind and the ego takes over and overthinks it. And then, <laughs> then it just kind of ruins everything. So it's always best to listen to that inkling, that gut feeling, that intuition, that first thought is always the thing you should listen to first. And the high priestess can also be, um, you know, she kind of keeps to herself. She knows all the secrets, but she doesn't really say much. She kind of keeps to herself. So you may not even be talking to anybody about whatever decisions or decision that you want to make about something here, you may be kind of keeping it to your, yourself about these decisions. So what do we have here about changing your mind? So we have the Seven of Pentacles energy here. So this is about um, investing wisely and assessing, evaluating kind of energy, patiently waiting, not really taking action. So I feel like if you made a decision, but now you want to change your mind, I feel like you're kind of looking at it but you're not really taking action. You're like, should I invest in that? Should I change my mind? Should I invest this way, that way? Assessing and like overanalyzing, you know, what will happen if I change my mind, but not really doing anything about it. So it may be spirits here to say, you know, stop overanalyzing so much. If you want to change your mind about something, then just do it. All right, so let's see. So we have wise soul here. What is the wise soul about for Sagittarius? So we have the six of swords. 
energy. So this is about going into a more calmful, peaceful, harmonious place, leaving all past BS behind and going to a better place of peace and harmony. Like I said, balance. So I feel like here with this wise soul, if you're seeking a wise soul or advice or guidance, I think they're going to lead you to a better place. Also, I feel like you can help people too. If you feel like you have, have a lot of wise knowledge to give and advice, you can help people also encourage them to go to a better place also is what I'm getting with that. All right. So <clears throat> let's see. What is this balance, work, rest, and play for Sagittarius? The Five of Swords. So you may be, I just got like an energy of maybe you just work, 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 work. Or maybe you're doing something around your work, your career, your finances where, you know, you just are working, 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 or doing whatever here because you want to get to that better place. You want to... Um, get ahead, you know, and you just got to keep going on and on in that same direction. But here, because the five of swords is that energy of, um, getting ahead by all means it can be in a good way or a bad way. So I feel like here, whatever you're doing to try to get ahead by all means, I, it's kind of time to balance out your energy. Yeah. Work, you know, work, rest, but don't forget to also have fun, uh, hobbies, Picking up the phone, texting, emailing friends, whatever here, however you do it, FaceTime, uh, bounce out your energy. All right. So what is this trust about for Sagittarius? Trust about for Sagittarius, please. Justice. So this is balancing out the scales. Could be something, something in the justice system. For some, it could be just getting justice, serving justice, things balancing out, open, honest, truthful communication, getting the justice you deserve in life or whatever here. If you're waiting for something in the justice system, just trust the process here. Um, or, you know, whatever here, just trust in that you will be getting justice in your situation, whatever that means for you in your life in work, career, love, um, in the justice field, in, you know, legalities, whatever here, just trust the process that things will balance out here and you'll have clarity soon. All right. So, all right. I'm getting like 11 days to 11 weeks. So whatever that means for you. All right. So rainbow with blessings. Eight of Wands. So you, you plan on taking action towards something or even moving, physically moving or taking action or sending communication. The Eight of Wands is fast action, travel, communication. Sometimes it's love communication, sometimes not, or fiery, passionate communication of some kind. That whatever action you decide to take, whatever it is for you, will bring you many blessings here in some way, shape, or form. Good luck and blessings. So peace, harmony. All right. So however that means for you. All right. So what is this rebirth in the spring equinox? King of cups. So, so I feel like in the springtime, if you've gone through this rebirth, this transformation, this healing, I think you're going to come out or this is you being more in the energy of being more loving, caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate, having peace and harmony kind of energy, giving to others. Also could be uh, maybe in the spring for some of you expressing uh, love towards someone or something like that or someone towards you. Could be a rebirth of a love situation of some kind. So different energies there. Again, how well that resonates for you. King or queen here, doesn't matter. So what is the stone people vigilance here? for Sagittarius. And we have the Six of Wands. So this is success and victory, accomplishment. So whatever, 
whatever you're doing here in life right now, whether it's career orientated, uh, learning new things, or whatever you're doing where you need to stay strong and be vigilant and stand tall and keep going, that you will be maybe getting a lot of attention some, in some way, shape, or form, uh, employers at your work, getting a raise, a promotion, a new uh, job opportunity, something here. But you will have success and victory here with the Six of Wands in some way, shape, or form. All right, so what's on the bottom of the deck here? So we have the Princess of Cups. So this is the Page of Cups. So again, this is, you know, communicating or, you know, just being in a more peaceful, harmonious manner, loving, compassionate manner, the way you speak, the way you speak to others. Some of you could be offering love to somebody, um, love messages kind of energy, or just being in a very like calm, peaceful demeanor, caring, nurturing, loving kind of energy for some of you. Or it's telling you, Spirit wants you to know to be more in this energy. All right, so let's get Sagittarius with this deck here. A little prayer affirmation for you, Sagittarius. A little prayer affirmation for you, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? What prayer affirmation do we have for Sagittarius, please? All right, I'm feeling that one. Do justly, love mercy, walk humbly. Wow, and do we not just have justice here? <laughs> so I can't I can't make this up. Love mercy, and I have that energy of the King of Cups, the Princess of Cups. Walk humbly. Yeah, so this is telling you, you know, the five of swords getting ahead in all means, do it in a humbling way, not in a egotistical way. Do justly, you know. Fear, moral, just, balance kind of energy. Just is also balance. And we have balance here. And walk humbly, you know. So don't let ego and pride get in your way also. And be humble for the things that you've gone through and the things that you have and the things coming. Wow. Okay. That's your little pre-affirmation. Okay, Sagittarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.